गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन होप एवरी वन इज़ स्टेइंग सेफ एंड हेल्दी चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल स्टडी विद अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज इवेपोरेशन एंड कंडेंसेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ वीडियो टू शो यू द इवेपोरेशन एंड कंडेंसेशन चिल्ड्रन इवेपोरेशन मीन्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ वॉटर इन टू वेपर मीन्स एनी लिक्विड चेंजेस इन टू वेपर दैट इज नोन एज इवेपोरेशन लेट्स टेक अ सॉल्टी वॉटर एंड वी शुड सेपरेट दिस सॉल्ट फ्रॉम वॉटर बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ इवेपोरेशन हियर यू कैन सी द सॉल्ट हैज बीन सेपरेटेड when it has been heated up now children i want to separate out water and salt parallelly to show to you so the process of convert conversion of vapor into liquid that is known as condensation so here children you can see both the process that is in the first one you can see that the particular salty water has been separated out the salt has been separated out from water by the process of evaporation and on the second that is on the other hand you can see the water the vapor which is coming out from that salty water that vapor we have collected uh, in another beaker by the process of condensation so that is the to make it little bit easier what we have done that because the vapors are too hot so to condense it to cool it fast we took a plate just above the beaker of that particular salty water and on that particular plate we have kept some ice cubes why we have kept that ice cubes to show that that the vapor can be easily condensed thanda ho sake so that easily it can condense and the vapor can be transformed into water so the process of conversion of vapor into liquid that process is known as condensation so here you can see Uh, with the help of two process that is evaporation and condensation we have separated salt and water both separately by both the process by using both the process now children uh, let me show you one more uh, method over here here it has been given a boiling point different liquid has different boiling point and boiling point is a temperature at which a certain uh, liquid uh, can be heated for example a uh, boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius so at 100 degree celsius the water will start boil so different liquid have different boiling point so here as we have taken liquid as water so water boiling point is 100 degree celsius it is just for your knowledge it is not in your syllabus so that is the meaning of boiling point the temperature at which the liquid gets heated a common example of evaporation is the salt separated from the sea water let's have a look children over here <coughs> you can see children shallow pits have been made gadha jisko bolte hain and due to the sun rays you can see the water gets evaporated and when the water gets evaporated the left over part is the salt let me show you once more so that it will be more easy for you mm, check it down children yes these are the shallow pits you can see due to sun rays water gets evaporated and in that shallow pits what is left over that is salt so children today i explained you the process of evaporation and the process of condensation and the common evaporation process in nature 
you can see that is the salt separated from the sea water. Thank you children. Have a nice day. With this video, I am sending you the definitions of condensation as well as evaporation. Now children, in the next class, I will teach you the last topic that is saturated solution. First, what is solution? Then what is the meaning of saturated solution? Thank you and have a nice day.